When I mention to you the name Candace Leitner, what comes to your mind? Do you actually know who she is? For me personally, I had no idea who she was until I come across that name while doing research for my book called When Life is Full of It, An Antidote for Your Mind. It's a book that's uh, dealing and focusing mainly on our attitude. And what's so interesting about her personal life story is that back in 1980, her 13-year-old daughter was killed by a drunk driver. And literally, four days later, she started a grassroots movement that, you know, right now that is called and considered MAD. That is M-A-D-D. -D. That's Mothers Against Drunk driving and what's so interesting is when I begin to study her background and begin to research uh, how this all started and how she started this whole movement I discovered that she took her bitter situation and she made it better into something better that since the founding of this organization that's MADD that she was able to uh, go into uh, influence uh, the president she was able to influence politics laws rules regulations up to such a degree that since the founding of her organization mad uh, that's mothers against drunk driving that she was able to already save more than 300,000 lives because laws became more strict concerning those individuals who be intoxicated behind the wheel and can you only imagine that this person she took her bitter situation and because she had the right mental attitude because she had the right heart attitude even though there was a certain measure of bitterness inside of her she said you know what I'm not gonna allow this bitterness and this hatred towards that individual who killed my daughter to to uh, take over me to consume him so she took her bitter situation and she did something good with it she did something great with it so my challenge to my friend is uh, we will all go through bitter situations in our life we'll all go through through different difficulties problems challenges maybe may not be as severe as Candace's or you know where she lost her precious daughter maybe yours is not not as that bad but no matter how it may be or maybe you might face similar situations it's always a challenge for us to have the right heart and mental attitude where we can take our bitter situation and do something better with it do something great with it even though she was mad at that moment something was birthed out of that where she became a mad mother against drunk driving and she started a grassroots movement that's been saving lives and that's been a doing an impact in this country and in, in, in abroad. So I challenge you, my friend, uh, no matter what bitter situation you and I may come across, take that bitterness and turn it into something better, like a seed and sow it and do something great for your personal life. Until next time.